The launch of the Jason Medea ROV is a carefully choreographed exercise for the entire Jason team and the ship's crew. Every person has specific tasks during launch and recovery for the safety of all the crew and for Jason and Medea. Jason is lifted over the side rail and set into the water with a crane operated by a Jason team member who has a radio control panel that is carried as he walks around the launch area where he has a clear view of any potential obstacles or issues. On the front of Jason, you can see two robotic arms on either side of the payload baskets. The arms are used to carry out tasks while at work on the seafloor, such as placing a temperature probe inside a vent, or to remove a syringe sampler from the front baskets and collect water, or to install a delicate instrument. These and other devices are stored in the baskets and on mounts on Jason. Jason is connected to Medea via a neutrally buoyant tether. Once Jason is in the water, it is maneuvered to its position behind the ship, and then Medea is lowered into the water. A cable from the winch on the ship is attached to Medea to provide power and communications to Jason. The cable also decouples Jason from the ship's motion from wave action. This keeps Jason from being jerked around while it's trying to complete its work. With a quick check from the ROV pilot, the winch lowers Medea into the sea while Jason drives to the sea floor. On the surface, we see a last burst of bubbles signaling their descent.